All right, what is up everybody? Serial Entrepreneur here for another episode for you YouTube subscribers. And guess what? Today, we're actually in my new office space. So, well, this is actually the conference room, uh, one of the conference rooms. I have access to three different conference rooms that I can use at this office space. Uh, but I'm gonna be using it for shooting more video because as you can see, we got a big whiteboard behind me. Makes it even better. I'll show you here in a minute, actually. I'll just do it right now. We'll show you. Basically, guys, what we have right here, you can see, It'll, there we go. We've got a TV right there. All these cords right here come down. You can actually hook it up to your computer. So that way you can have really great um, conference style. And you can hook it up to your computer. So that way. So you guys can see we get really great conference style uh, setting for me to bring in potential customers um, and for me to use, obviously, for the growth of my team and for my serial entrepreneur brand. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Today's video, uh, just wanted to do that quick little intro. I'm pretty excited about it. Plus I get free coffee and free gigabit Wi-Fi, free printing. You guys need to check out a co-working space in your area and see if you can work out some kind of deal like this. Uh, Cause I'm guaranteeing you right now there are other co-working communities out there that'll probably want the same deal. But outside of that guys, we're gonna talk about the Facebook pixel today. Um, so you might see me holding my phone. I've got my notes on here so that way we can run through this really quickly. If you want to see the full article, um, the full explanation article, you can just go over to our website. That'll be posted right here below, serialentrepreneur.academy. You can go there, check out the full article and video there as well. Uh, so that way you can kind of follow along while we talk through it. So we're gonna start with first things first or you know, what really is first. So what is the Facebook Pixel? Why is it important? What's it useful for? I don't really need my phone for this part. What is the Facebook Pixel useful for? Basically what you need to understand is that it's used for remarketing and retargeting to audiences. Take my headphones out here. Used for remarketing and retargeting to audiences, okay? So Facebook Pixel. What you need to know is number one, it's for remarketing AKA retargeting ads. All right. So why is that important? Why do you need the Facebook pixel to remarket, to retarget? Well, here's, here's kind of how it works. So first of all, if you have your website, right? This is your website. And then we'll say, this is your Facebook page, right? All right, and then your Facebook page is obviously connected to your business manager account. So what you do is you actually go to your business manager account. There's this little bit of code that you actually copy and you take that code and you paste it into the body of your website, not the body, the actual header of your website. So it covers your whole entire website. Then there's specific parts of specific pages of the body where you can add in something called an event code. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But basically, you take this little snippet of code and you implement it onto your website. Now on Facebook's back end, they have a database that collects all of this information via you know who's coming to your website, who has a Facebook account, what their account is, is like what's included you know what their interests are all of that right so we take that code we put it on our site and now what we have is every time so say you know we got a bunch of visitors these are all visitors right and out of all these visitors they all come to my website right so now we've had seven visitors it's one two three four five yeah seven visitors come to our website right and our Facebook pixel code is right up here well, what it's looking for is it's going to their cookies their cache basically their memory their internet memory and saying where have they been before have they been to this face do they have a Facebook page basically is what it's saying do they have an account do they have a you know Facebook account with Facebook and then it cross references it and says okay this person right here number one has a has been to this website and also has a Facebook account. This person has been to the website and has a Facebook account. This person does not have a Facebook account, so they get kind of lost out in the middle of the space over here. This person does not have a Facebook account, they get lost in space. And all three of these have Facebook accounts and have visited this site, so that basically Facebook is tracking all of those people. So now we have a list out of those seven people, we know five of those people have visited our website and have a Facebook account. Why is that important? Because now I can go into Facebook's backend and create an audience that is customized to target these five people who we know have a Facebook account 
and have visited our website. You see, I see the importance of that. Obviously, if someone goes to check out your website, they're usually about 70 to 80% more likely to make a purchase than someone who doesn't go to the website, right? If somebody just sees your Facebook page but doesn't go to the website, they're not as interested in your product as someone who actually took the time to go to your website, maybe even check out specific pages like your pricing page. Um, if you have pricing, they could have checked out, like say you have a list of services or products you offer, they could have checked that out, they could have checked out your blog, and you can actually set up different targeting functions on with your Facebook pixel to track which pages they're going to. So you can de determine you know, if a blog article is popular or not. Uh, you can determine if your sales page is actually getting people to the sales page or not. So this is all really, really important information to understand as a marketer and to understand with using Facebook. So now that you understand kind of the basics of it, let me get my notes back up. That's kind of the basics of it, you know, how it works. Now what you need to understand is how to do the next level type stuff, which is the event tracking pixel. So you have event tracking. Okay. Now what can event tracking do? Basically, let's get refocused here. What can event tracking do? Basically, event tracking does things like it tracks when someone signs up uh, and submits their email address. It checks when someone adds something to cart. It checks when somebody has made it to the checkout phase, um, and even when someone has made a purchase. So what you can do is, so we'll write those down really quick. Purchase, uh, checkout, added to cart, Um, and then the last one, submit email or contact info, right? So these are all things that you can do. There's even more than that. Um, there's add things to wish list, I believe, is a thing that they have now. There's all kinds of different event tracking. You guys can check this out in the business manager. All you need to know or all I'm trying to get across to you is the fact that you need to be using these in your remarketing campaigns. So what you're able to do, once people have you know, reached purchase or reached checkout or re added something to cart or submitted their contact information, they are more qualified of a lead, right? But definitely, if someone makes a purchase, they are the most qualified version of a lead. But if someone's made it to checkout, added to cart, or submitted their contact information and hasn't purchased yet, they're still a qualified lead. They've already made it so far into your buying process, they just haven't converted just yet. So that's good to know for a couple reasons. Number one, you can take ads and remarket them to those people saying, hey, we noticed you didn't purchase. Uh, here's four reasons why you should purchase. Or, hey, just a quick reminder, we've noticed you left this in checkout, just wanted you to, you know, not forget that it was there, here's a quick reminder, and take 10% off if you buy it now. You know, something like that, right? That's what this is important for, number one. Number two uh, use that you can do with this is you're now able to create audiences from this traffic. So if someone makes it to your website and visits the, or submits their contact information, right, you can actually take that list of people and basically submit it to your website or your Facebook back manager back in and say, create a list of all these people. And it'll go through and sort and say, okay, well, these people have Facebook accounts and have submitted their contact information to you. And then you create an audience out of that. Why is that important? Because they're qualified, right? They're people who are interested in your product. Now what you're actually able to do past that, you take this audience of people who have submitted their contact information, create a lookalike audience of that contact or of that information or those contacts and say, okay, Facebook, create a lookalike audience of the top people who are similar to this. So what Facebook does is it says, okay, all of, if you get, let's say, let me give me some space here. If you guys got all this. All right. So basically what it's doing, um, say you have a list of 1,000 contacts, right? 1,000 contacts emails. And let's say you also gather first name and last name, right? So say you have 1,000 contacts, emails, first name, last name. Now what do you wanna do? You wanna take this 1,000 contact list, you export it from your email software, and then you import it into Facebook's audience builder. Basically, you just go to the section where it says audiences, you add this snippet of content or a snippet of contacts into that audience folder. 
then all you're going to do is basically once you have that audience, it's going to filter through all of these people who gave you their email address and have associated that email address with their Facebook account. I think it's about a 65 to 75 percent uh, conversion ratio there. So we'll say roughly 700 contacts. Out of that thousand, we got 700 contacts uploaded into our Facebook business manager, into that, that specific audience of people who submitted their contact info, right? So now we'll take that 700 and we're gonna create a lookalike audience. So boom, we create a lookalike, LA, lookalike audience for that 700. So what it's actually, Facebook does is they take that LA and they find the top, I think it's 1 million or 2 million, it's the top 1%. And it's usually around two to three million. I believe it's 1%, it might be 10%, but I believe it's 1%. No, it is 10%. Top 10%, which is usually an audience of about two to three million. Then what you can do is you can actually take that audience and if you know their specific demographics, like say you know you only sell like 18 to 35, you can narrow that down even further. So this gives you a broader audience, everyone 18 to 65, male and female. What you do then is you can take that and narrow it down even further if you know your audience is mostly male or mostly female, mostly younger versus mostly older, and then narrow that audience down, get even more specific so that way you know these are the right types of buyers. That's why lookalike audiences are so important, and that's why the event tracking pixel, uh, the Facebook pixel in general, is such a crucial part to your marketing campaign. If you're not using it, you're missing out on the best part of Facebook marketing. If you're not using it, you're not doing Facebook marketing right. This is what every big Facebook marketer understands and they realize, okay, well, if I can take all of this and create look like, so what does it look like audience? Basically say these 700 people, right? Say 700 people have an interest in painting. We'll just say, all right, painting because you sell painting products, but say they also have an interest in uh, museums, uh, travel, we'll say, and I don't know, uh, let's say dogs, just something random, right? All of these seven, out of these 700 people, let's say 400 people have all of these interests, right? So what do we know? If they all four have these four interests, or if 400 of those people have these four interests, they're more than likely interested in our main product, which is, say, painting. Right? So that lookalike audience, basically all they do is they say, okay, well, out of those 400, we got 400 people, right? Out of those 400, they all like all of this stuff right here, right? So if 400 like this, we're going to take, Facebook's going to go back into its database and say, find me another two to three million people that have this same interest criteria. And then we're from there, Facebook spits out an audience for you, then you take it and narrow it down even further to the demographics, the location, uh, male, female, whatever it may be. You can even do more interests. If you know, like for me, I would create a lookalike audience, right, of two to three million. I would do male, I would do around 18 to 46, that's about my audience. And then I would even say has interest in Ty Lopez and Gary Vee and uh, Greg Cardone and Tony Robbins, you know, all these big names that I, so I'm narrowing that audience down, getting even more specific and finding new people that I've never talked to before, right? So that's it there. Let me get my notes up really quick. So that's a basic understanding of the Facebook pixel. That's why it's important for remarketing. Setting it up is simple. I'm not going to go into how to set it up, guys, uh, but you basically get instructions from Facebook. They have instructions. You can even email it to your developer. If you have a web developer who's going to do it all for you, you can email it to them. There's tons of videos online about setting up the pixel. Not very difficult at all. And then we also talked what to track. So uh, things like view content. When people view a specific blog article, that's used to create custom audiences for later. Uh, you use blog articles to find cold traffic, right? And then you take that and you reconvert it. So you have to be able to set up those audiences uh, and find people who are viewing that content. That's a, a key thing to know. Uh, search, add to cart, add to wish list, initiate checkout, add payment info, make a purchase, generate a lead, complete registration. These are all different things that you'll want to do. Lead ads are huge now in Facebook and you want to be making sure that you're taking advantage of those. So that's basically it, guys. I mean, it's super easy, super effective when it comes to remarketing. And if, again, if you're not using it, you're not doing Facebook marketing right. But outside of that, I hope that this video was informational for you and super useful for you guys. I'm super excited to be in this office, guys. You guys can do this same thing. That's what I want you guys to understand. We're going to put a 
video together on how I kind of went through this whole process. But I got $1,200 worth of office space for free. And you guys, if you live in a suburb or a near a major city, you can do this exact same thing. I promise you there's a co-working space somewhere in your area, and you can probably work out a deal with them. Outside of that, if you found this video useful, leave me a comment below saying something about Facebook marketing that you don't understand or about the Facebook pixel that you don't understand. Leave comments and questions about the Facebook pixel below. Throw a like if this was helpful so that way other people can see it as well. Outside of that, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. All my social media channels are below, so you need to follow me there. You can reach out to me, send me messages. I get back to you guys, not some robot. So that's the best way to really get in touch with me. Snapchat, Facebook Messenger, send me a message and let's talk. Outside of that, I really hope you guys are taking the right steps to move your business forward in 2018. As you can see, I'm doing it. I'm actually in the works uh, or in the process of working on a super big investment. So I'm not going to say that it's going through yet. I'm not 100% sure yet. But this could be game changing for my marketing agency where I'm able to scale it to a multi-million dollar business this year. Ah, oh, man. It's going awesome. And I know you guys can do this too. You just have to put in the effort, put in the work every single day for like the next two or three years and you can live the life that you want to live. So until next time guys, Serial Entrepreneur out. Ready to start living the six figure work wherever be your own boss lifestyle? Well at Serial Entrepreneur Academy we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.